Kate Gallego is a Phoenix City Council member. She's running for mayor in that city, and she supports the continuation of DACA. She joins us tonight. Kate Gallego, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. So um, trying to think through how legalizing people who are here illegally helps American citizens. And in Arizona, we have some data on this because it, the state passed, as you know, one of the toughest anti-immigration laws in the country in 2010. And the effects of that have been studied. And here's what they showed. There was a short-term labor shortage, obviously. People here to work. They can't work. There was a labor shortage. But over time, automation made up for it and wages went up for American workers. Costs, meanwhile, went down. Prison costs went down, education costs went down dramatically by hundreds of millions of dollars. So given that we know that, why does it help the economy to legalize people here illegally? Right now, the city of Phoenix is the fastest growing city in the entire country. We mm -hmm. added more people in 2016 than on any other city and we're constrained by our workforce right now. We just had some folks from the home building industry come into the city of Phoenix and say, we could do so much more if we had a, a larger construction workforce. We could be creating jobs, we could building, build building new affordable homes for people to live in, but we don't have the workforce we need. And they said that the point that they really feel like it's changed was not having enough people through immigration. Yeah. We're well, a lot of employees, I bet Arizonians they feel that are way. losing out. Yeah. Um, because a lot of, no, a lot of employers make that case and they mean it. They want, obviously, cheaper labor. I think all employers do. Why wouldn't they? But if that's true, if more illegal immigrants make a place richer, then how many specifically do you think Arizona or Phoenix needs? How many illegals do you need in your city to make it richer? Would more be better? How about 10 million? Would that make it even richer? Right now, we are desperately concerned about our DACA recipients who are in our city. Arizona has 28,000 DACA recipients who have been great members of our community who went to our high schools, were educated here. We've been investing in them for years. Now they're ready to give back and we're worried about their future right now. Our Republican governor has stepped up and said they're an important part of our economy. We want them to stay. Um, right. No, no, you, no, but you just, you just said that. I, mean, I, I just want to get to the nub of it, though, because I think it's a big deal. I mean, once you legalize people, they vote, they bring their relatives, it, it changes the place, maybe for the better, maybe for the worse, but we should be clear about the effects, I think. I think you'd agree. So if bringing in more people illegally and making them citizens makes you more prosperous, then why wouldn't you bring in 10 million and become really, really rich? Would that work? Immigrants have been amazing contributors to our community. If you look right? at some of the data from Forward.us, Mark Zuckerberg's organization, oh, yeah. so bet. many of the entrepreneurs who've built our tech economy came here through immigration. And, and we right. in Phoenix are desperate for more how people many, in engineering how many and tech, How many science? big tech companies are, are, were started by people from Central and South America, Latin America? So uh, right now I'm sitting in Phoenix, Arizona, very close to a company called Fortis who was, that was started by a gentleman from Panama. It's uh -huh. one of our top engineering uh, companies in, in this community and they actually are one of our largest employers of at-risk veterans, which so, but, is a wonderful but, success I, story. I bet, I bet he's a great guy and the company's great, but how many big tech companies were started by the immigrants that you're talking about since you brought it up? How many? If you, I mean, if you look at, we have so many success stories in this community, and some of them have gotten national attention. Okay. Um, so I just want to be, because it's a big, with respect, I mean, look, I'm not attacking immigrants. I like immigrants, and I'm sure a lot of these people are great people, but people who live here, who are born here, or citizens, have a right to know the effects of this. So how many is the optimum number? If bringing in people illegally and giving them citizenship makes you more prosperous, what's the number, the ideal number of people we should give citizenship to? Our country and our community was, was built by immigration, okay, and we have so many stories okay. in this community. So I know stories, but I'm looking for facts, and I think it's fair to ask for facts. So John Lott, who's a researcher, a social scientist, got a hold of the conviction numbers, which the government of the state of Arizona has hidden from the population, because it's lying to the population about the effects of immigration, as you know. And he found that illegal immigrants in the state of Arizona were more than twice as likely to commit murder, and overall far more likely to commit crimes of all kinds, not immigration crimes, but violent and property crimes. So given that, those are facts, how can you reassure the residents, the legal residents of Arizona of all backgrounds that this is good for them? I don't understand. 
We and cities throughout our community have seen great success stories when people feel like they can work with the police department and there's trust. So we've had folks who um, did not have legal immigration status but were willing to work with our police department and have been very important in helping us particularly with drug related crimes. Okay, but but, but do, you acknowledge, are you, do you acknowledge the reality of what I just said? So this study which got a hold of Arizona state numbers which I think are legitimate says that people illegally in Arizona are far more likely to commit serious crime. Do you not believe that? Are you just ignoring it or what's your response to that? So I just received the arrest and crime data from mm -hmm. the last calendar year, 2017, for the city of Phoenix. And right. that wasn't what we found in the city of Phoenix. Unfortunately, violent crime was led by people who live here and who were but that's born not, here. But that's not the question. And were people who were there illegally more likely or less likely to commit serious crimes in the city of Phoenix? Are you really saying they were less likely? I don't think that's what the numbers show. Our 2017 numbers tell a very different story than the story that that researcher is telling you. So are you saying, just to be totally clear, because we're almost out of time, are you saying that you've seen numbers that in the city of Phoenix, people here illegally were less likely to commit serious crimes than citizens? Is that what you're saying? I just want to get you on the record. I'm saying com we need comprehensive immigration reform oh. and it will help Oh, oh you're slipping out of the question. I, I'm asking a very simple question and you're not giving me a real answer and I think that tells the whole story. Thanks for joining us, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Democrats apparently